Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video we are going to learn about how to style a pandas data frame and this is the fourth video and final video on styling of a data frame. Specifically in this video we'll look at how to format missing values, hide index columns, hide columns and then create interactive widget and another interactive heat map with the magnify function and finally we'll end the video by looking at how we can export such a uh, formatted data frame to uh, excel and this is a beta functionality but it can do some things and uh, we'll look at those so let's get into jupyter notebook and start coding here i've imported three libraries numpy pandas and seaborn and seaborn as you may know it's for plotting and for data this is the same data frame from previous video and the same function from previous video where uh, it is used to convert all the negative values in the data frame to a font color of red so first item that we can look today is how to uh, format missing values we have looked at these previous in previous videos but here there is slight difference so here we are going to type df dot style and then uh, the first one we have is set underscore na underscore replace as fail and then for the next one this is format none with a capital n na underscore rep is equal to pass and then subset is equal to uh, within a list uh, square brackets capital D and then, then finally we have highlight underscore null as yellow and when we run this here we can see that we have uh, created this new formatting style where the NANs are changed and here sorry this if we change this to C here we have changed the NANs in such a way that uh, by column we can customize to put another string such as fail or pass and also highlight them uh, at the same time so that's one way then next let's look at how we can hide index or columns so for hiding the index we would type df dot style dot hide underscore index so when we out look at the output column sorry when we look at the output column here we see that there's no index uh, listed on the left hand side as you can see here so there is this index so that's completely missing in the output next we can also hide columns so to do that you type df dot style dot hide underscore columns and within list we can specify the columns we need to hide let's say we need to hide columns c and d and when you run this the columns c and d are now not there in the output we only see columns a b and e now moving on let's look at how we can uh, create a widget uh, and that will be interactive for this we need to import a library from i python dot html import widgets and then import we already imported seaborn so that should be good and so add widgets dot interact and here we can create a function so this function is directly from the docs uh, that i'm typing here so h underscore negative so we are specifying the values here initially so zero comma 399 359 comma one and then we have h position so positive is equal to 
zero comma three fifty nine, and then the next one we have s is equal to zero comma ninety nine point nine, and then we have the l is equal to zero comma ninety nine point nine. And after this, we have colon, and then we can specify the return values for this. So, return df dot style. So say return df dot style plus background underscore gradient. And within this, we can specify the cmap. So cmap is equal to sns dot palettes dot diverging underscore palette. And within this, we can specify edge underscore negative is equal to edge underscore negative edge underscore positive is equal to edge underscore positive s is equal to s l is equal to l and as underscore c map is e c map is equal to true so when we run this we see this is a widget where we can change move the slider and that changes the color in the uh, data frame that we have below and this is really awesome uh, so depending on the need you can if you are presenting the data somewhere this would be a really nice uh, way to kind of uh, show different parts of our data set by using this type of widget functionality now before we move on to another topic just want to share that there are also built-in functions uh, that pandas already has so we do not have to write a custom function for example if you type df dot style dot highlight underscore min then it will highlight all the minimum values similarly if you type highlight underscore max it will highlight all the maximum values and as you probably already know you can also ask it to highlight null and thus it can highlight the null values as well now moving on let's look at uh, another uh, new type of functionality which we can use with uh, styling uh, data frame and that is where we can create a heat map and we can magnify it and interact with it so for this we'll create a function magnify and this function is directly from the docs magnify and here we'll create a variable x is equal to which will have these values so dictionary and selector is equal to th and properties is equal to within square brackets parenthesis we have font size and then we have say four points here and so that's that one and moving on we have the next one so this D I C T. The next one we have dictionary selector is equal to T D, and the uh, properties is equal to here we have padding, and then we have padding as zero E M space zero E M and after this we have another one dictionary selector is equal to th colon hover and then we have uh, properties for that so 
proper props is equal to square brackets and parenthesis we have font less size and then we have fill point so this is where the magnification effect will come from we have increasing the font size we have the last one a selector is equal to tr underscore hover and then we have td underscore hover and props is equal to uh, within parenthesis we have max dash width and after this we have comma then 200 pixels so that's one and then we have another one there so here we have font size and we have 12 points so that's the function we have and it will return x now we can i uh, we need to write another part of the code so np dot random dot seed zero here we have cmap is equal to sns dot diverging underscore palette and within this we specify five to fifty and then as underscore cmap is equal to true and then we have so we run that and then we have uh, big df is equal to pd dot data frame np dot random dot random in random numbers let's say 20 by 25 and dot cum sum and then we have big rdf dot style dot background underscore gradient and then we have cmap axis is equal to one okay and then we can specify the properties so set properties and here we can specify the keyword arguments here in the dictionary uh, max underscore uh, so within quotes max underscore width and this is 80 pixels and the next one we have font uh, font uh, have on size and this we set it to one point okay and after this so this is set and let's bring that back here and next we have set underscore caption as we have seen in the previous video hover to magnify and then finally uh, the last one we have last two we have set underscore precision so two precision so this is what we are doing here is chain chaining everything so set underscore table underscore styles and here we call the function magnify and when we run this here is the uh, data frame we have and it should magnify uh, i don't know why it's not magnifying let's uh, go back up and check if we missed anything so here this should be just point uh, without s and then uh, i've made a typo here which is selector so when we run this and run this now we should see now as you can see we can we see a heat map and then we if we hover over it we can see the values associated can hover the column name as well and we can see those magnify and we can see the indices magnify as well so this is really cool and uh, interesting way to look at the data that we have next uh, moving on let's look at one final uh, method in which we can export the data to 
excel format and this according to the docs as of time of recording this video it's uh, still in beta version there are some functionalities and this is the code they've provided so df.style and again here we can specify let's say we are chaining apply map and color underscore neg underscore red so that we are coloring the negative values as red and then we can specify two underscore excel and then we can give the name of the output file so say styled dot xlsx and then engine is equal to open pyxl so when we run this it will create a file in uh, that will be saved as style.xlsx and when you open that it will have the values so this is how the file uh, looks like when i open it in excel so this is i'm on mac so this is in numbers and as you can see the name is styled and uh, we do have the formatting retained in the exported file in excel where the negative numbers are uh, here in red that was it for this video uh, i hope you learned how to format uh, data frames style them and add new functionalities to them so that it becomes easier to visualize the data we also looked at some interactive uh, functions uh, that allow us to kind of uh, play with the data that we have and uh, change the visualizations as uh, by interacting with the uh, data now this is also a uh, last video on pandas i hope this was an exciting journey for you all to learn pandas uh, i know it's been a long uh, sequence of videos but this was the groundwork and foundation that i um, guarantee that if you have all this knowledge you'll have no problem in kind of learning new uh, items based on these and implementing them either in your projects or in the industry so i look forward to starting new topic uh, pretty soon and again thank you for your support i hope to see you all in the new series as well